I vandalized the school. Oh my goodness. What? I'm, I'm confessing here on YouTube, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Oh I'm my dead. goodness. Anyways, we gather around the tree, right? Okay. Yeah. Have some, have some fun. We open up some presents, okay? Um, when we gather around the tree, we normally talk like for a long time. Because when our dad is there, we just we just hang out. Our dad, my dad is naturally funny. He will just talk and like he will just naturally make jokes that'll make our whole family laugh. And like his laugh is yeah. hate, so we just yeah. continue laughing. Yeah. So you take <laughs> after your mom? Is that <laughs> that's brutal. This guy. <laughs> This guy can't. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had oh. to. I had to. Yeah. <laughs> I get through my story, please. Oh my God. This man is a maniac. He's a maniac. <laughs> He's a maniac. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Gather around the tree, blah, 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 blah. My dad, my dad's laughter is contagious. Okay, all that, all that good stuff. Okay, the year of this memory. Okay, we were like, all righty. For some reason, dad was like, all right. I have a theme in mind, and we're all going to draw a picture relating to that theme, and I'll decide who drew the best one. And we were like, <laughs> okay, where did that come from? And so we did it, bro. And like, one of the themes was like, uh, it was a movie scene. And mm. so it was, like, it was like from, um, oh my Wizard goodness. Wizard of Oz. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Imagine. No, 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 no. It's, it was not. It, no, it's um. I want to say Home Alone, but it's just not Home Alone. It's um. I love Home Alone. It, it, Home Alone is Dude, great. You know what this says down here at the bottom of this shirt? I, yes, I literally know what it says. I've seen the shirt. I've seen the shirt before, and I love it. <laughs> oh, I should. I should have worn a Christmas Merry shirt. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, bro. Uh, um. It was a Christmas movie? No, it wasn't. That's that's why I was saying it's not Home Alone. <laughs> okay, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a that's Wimpy Kid. Was. Okay. Uh, that was the theme. We all died to draw pictures, and like it was just m pictures from like scenes that we most remembered from that movie, and it was just mm. that that memory will live in my brain forever. That's awesome. We, like our dad chose probably one of the best scenes, but like his art looks so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like me over here, young, trying to be aspiring artist, definitely not aspiring artist now. Um, like wrote wrote something <laughs> that was art, but they had no idea what scene I chose it was so much fun it was so much fun and i remember that all the time that's that cool great. that's cool dude your dad sounds awesome your dad he sounds awesome really is, sounds like really. a really good dad for yeah. real i love him you yeah. turn, right okay um so typically what my family does is we'll hang out christmas eve and then open at midnight if any if you know anyone that does that you do presents at midnight yeah that's awesome yeah. Yeah, so <laughs> the thing is, is that like I knew better not to ask for games throughout the year, but I knew I could ask on Christmas. <laughs> so so the, the funny part is I would always be like so tired, so I couldn't play like what I opened, you know, um, but yeah, just like having good food, having family around all day on Christmas Eve. We're going to be doing that this Christmas. I think my where I got my love for gaming. I don't think I ever told this story before. Um was the morning of I got my PlayStation 1 and I got the game called Namco Museum Volume 1. Ooh, now in this in this game like a collection of games it is a collection of games yeah. like now you know stuff. what I mean yep I play games before but I never played anything like this yeah. it was like 3D an immersive experience so you know I turn it on and I'll never forget like each game each arcade game had its own museum gallery it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen. And, it, and like, obviously, the graphics don't hold up now to it, to this day. But at the time, you know, it was so cool because there was a lot of trivia, a lot of history. You could really, like, see each display. And um, just I, that's when I really grew an appreciation for, like, game culture and history. And I was just, like, so fascinated as a kid. I'm like, like, this is so cool. And I'm just playing, like, arcade games here. So I would say that sparked something in me that I think is what, like, captured me and kind of made me love video games forever. Because I, I at that moment, I was like, there's something here that's unique. And it's, like, art, you know, because there was, like, art displays. Um, I know it takes art, work. The music is iconic. Like, I can think of the Pac-Man intro now at the top of my head just from knowing that, you know. I would say that's my fondest Christmas memory was just waking up that morning. You know, m m everyone's pretty much asleep because all the adults like stay up later than I could have. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're still yeah. sleeping and I'm up by myself just walking through a museum. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. And 
and as a kid like i could appreciate museums there was like dinosaur museums and stuff so i always thought it was cool you know yeah. but here i am i got a museum at home you know Thing. it's just yeah i can't i can't even begin to explain what that did to me outside of like it just really captured my love for gaming i'm like see this is this is cool this is awesome like how, why why i was thinking like man like why can't we have like you know a museum of these types of movies or shows or or whatever you know i'm like man like the fact that we can do this for a video game like imagine you know and your mind just starts going crazy about it so that's, that's it. cool oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah Dude, that's awesome yeah i never forget it <laughs> you know like we need more of these because i feel like like it's just it's good to have a little joy sometimes i don't know i think it could be a blessing you know be a little yeah. happy sometimes yeah. just just a little bit just a little bit just a little bit you know <laughs> just have some fun enjoy some goofy stuff you know pac-man it's a goofy game you know, it's a goofy it game. is i mean everybody knows you can't eat a ghost i mean come on <laughs> right right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know but I, I loved it yeah yeah i was not allowed like my parents didn't allow me to have any video game stuff um until this one year i think i was in like second grade and we went to christmas like family Christmas at my grandparents' house. And we used to like, we would open presents youngest to oldest and you'd open one and then we'd go around the whole circle and then you'd open, you get to open your next one. And it took a while and it was kind of like torture because you're sitting there, you're, you're holding the present, you know, that's yours and you're a kid, you know, it just takes forever to get around the <laughs> circle. Um, but I loved doing that and I, and I loved kind of, I don't know, I have a fondness for that building anticipation of what's in this package in my hand. You're kind of yeah. feeling it. You're kind of like shaking it a little bit, see if you can figure it out, you know? And I had this one box. It was like kind of, kind of bigger and I just couldn't figure out I was like I don't know what this is it came my turn and I started pulling the paper back and I was like there's no way there's no way that this is what this box looks like and it was a Nintendo entertainment system no oh, that my grandparents oh. got me and not my parents my grandparents my grandparents got it for me and I think this was actually I'm pretty sure that the Super Nintendo had already come out and they probably got it like on clearance or something like a pretty good sale yeah. on it but it was my first video game console and i mean i was like so excited and then when i was in sixth grade they skipped I, a couple of years i played i didn't i've skipped the genesis super nintendo generation <laughs> completely sixth grade comes around and the nintendo 64 came out it was really hard to find that that year when it came out when it launched and uh i got it christmas morning and my parents had gotten me a Nintendo 64. And I was like the only kid in school that had a Nintendo 64. <laughs> Yo. Right? And so that was really, and they got me Super Mario 64. And I think I got Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. You played that game? That's a pretty, pretty good, pretty good Star I Wars can't, game. I can't say time. I've played it, but um, I've heard of it. Yeah. And I've played the heck out of Super Mario 64. I played that game so many times. So that was a really good one. And then I think like my senior year, yeah, my senior year, of high school back at my grandparents house i only had like two presents or something and one of them looked like it was i don't remember it's probably like a pair of socks or something like that but my my all my extended family had had pooled their money and they bought me a nintendo gamecube and that was a really like that was like super exciting <laughs> right? oh my goodness because uh, I really wanted fire. so good. I really yeah. wanted a GameCube, and uh, and they put all their money together and got me a GameCube. So that was like That's that so was cool. really cool. I ended up. It was like had a handle on it, so you, like it was meant to be portable. I started putting it in my backpack and taking it to <laughs> school. And when we'd have free time at school, I would hook it up to the TV in the classroom, and we'd be like playing 007 Nightfire and stuff at school. <laughs> it was awesome. Dude, tell me, Nightfire wasn't that game. What? It was so good. It's so good. Oh man, dude. It would that campaign would put Modern Warfare 3's campaign to the test. Oh, yeah. It was so good. And it so had, good. the multiplayer was really good too. Mm -hmm. the split screen. It was it was a really underrated game, I yeah. feel like. Oh, 100 percent Because it, it really made you feel like a beast mm -hmm. of abuse. Like you yeah. felt like James Bond. Yeah. You were cool. Yeah. You were yeah. that guy. You were you you were him. You were him. Yeah. It was a good game. It was a really it was good so game. good. Yeah. Uh, growing up, I never had any other any other console. I always had Nintendo consoles. It wasn't until the PS5 came out that I broke mm. away from Nintendo and got my first wow. non Nintendo console. And then the my other fond memory, not video game related, um, was there was this year I vandalized the school. Oh my goodness. What? I'm, I'm confessing here on YouTube. Okay. <laughs> it's I, not a good idea. 
well, I got caught. I mean, I, I served oh. my time, Falcon. It's gonna be okay. okay. Uh, <laughs> I was in, I was in the, I was in first grade. Oh and, man, hooking and, and jiving. I'm gonna need a cracker for this one. <laughs> and I went to the. There was a a teacher who asked me to go get her her permanent marker from her desk drawer but we were in the library and i had to go all the way to her classroom which was on a different floor to get okay. it i just so want to I, say this is her fault i went and got it i got found it in the desk drawer i said all right but i don't want to wa- i don't want to walk all the way back to the library to know if it works or not so i should probably like test it out and like that was a legitimate thought that i had in my mind i, I need to test this and make sure it works first right that's a smart mm-hmm. thing to do yeah and yeah. so i that she had this huge like desk calendar on the desk and I, I made a little mark on the desk calendar and I was like oh that that works really well it's like let me try that again oh, no. <laughs> I, made a, I made a bigger mark and then I like drew around the whole calendar with the marker and then I was like this works really really well and then I looked up and I saw there was there were two doors to exit this classroom, but one of the doors went to the art room and on the door it had in huge letters the word art like down vertical down the door it had the word arts actually and i went over there and outlined the giant letters a r t s with the permanent marker (laughs) and then because the stairs went up to the art room it was like had like murals down the, the stairwell I drew down the entire stairwell walking down the stairs. Made a lot of marks, okay, that shouldn't have been made. I was a vandal. And I got <laughs> caught, obviously. Uh, it was very noticeable. <laughs> and and uh, my po- I had to go to the principal's office. I'm pretty sure I cried. <laughs> and I said I was sorry. And my, my, my punishment was that I had to, during recess, I had to clean the permanent marker marks off of all the surfaces. And until they were all gone and all of it was cleaned off, I couldn't go to recess. So that was my punishment. <laughs> um, Dang. And bro, bro was playing Jet Set Radio with a permanent marker. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. I served my time. It wasn't too much before Christmas. And I was convinced in my head that I was not getting anything for Christmas because I had been bad. Like, I felt really bad about it. And I knew that it was a it was a it was the wrong thing to do. It was a bad thing that I did. I knew that. <laughs> and I don't know what came over me in those like five minutes that I decided to put all these marks everywhere because it took me like a week to clean them off. (laughs) Five minutes can cost you a lot, kids. Remember that. Uh, So I was convinced I wasn't going to get anything for Christmas. And I remember waking up like really early Christmas morning and just being like almost sad. Like I'm going to go in there and my sister is going to have presents under the tree and there's just not going to be anything for me. I kind of snuck in there. I was being real quiet about it because I didn't want to wake anybody else up. Nobody else was awake. And I walked in there and I had presents for me under the tree. And one of it, one of the presents was a remote control car, a remote control truck, like a monster truck. And I got so excited. My next thought was, crap, I got to get back in bed before somebody knows I'm out of bed because they're going to take all these presents back. (laughs) <laughs> but my my point in telling that story is that man sometimes we make bad choices i thank god that in the midst of those bad choices there is grace and forgiveness that is available yeah and that we are not disqualified from the gift that is jesus christ this mm. christmas season because of our wrong decisions and our wrong actions that he still is offering himself to us to be our friend to be our confidant to be our savior and uh, praise god for that so yeah. praise god yeah Dude, yes sir wow what a story i like that i always a vandal you didn't know i was a graffiti artist did you? no man